you're starting. Hi, my name is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. I'm going to show you today how to flush a tankless water heater. This is a uh, Renai tankless water heater. It's an exterior mounted heater, which I think is the best way to do it here in Austin, Texas. Not everybody knows though that these do require an annual maintenance. The manufacturer recommends every six months to two years that these get flushed to remove any mineral deposits inside of these boilers. They're very, very efficient units and they should last 20 to 25 years, but it is important to maintain them. And here's how you can do it. In fact, most people could probably do this themselves rather than paying a plumber $150 to $250 to come out and do this at your house. It's a pretty simple process. This particular water heater has a uh, beauty cover to cover the piping. So it's just two screws to pop that off. And then it gets you down in, into the, uh, uh, the piping here. There's uh, a gas line right here that comes into the water heater and we've shut that off. Anytime you go uh, perpendicular to the pipe, you know that line is shut off. This is the inlet water right here and I've shut that one off as well. And then this is the output hot water that's coming back into the house and I've shut that off. And some water heaters will have a switch inside here to turn them off the power. Uh, in this case, we turn the power off as well if that's an option. First thing you want to do is, uh, is relieve the pressure with this overflow, uh, uh, not overflow, but uh, pressure reliever right here. And then we're going to hook up a hose to the inlet side. And you can see that runs into a uh, sump pump right here. This is just a 1 6 horsepower uh, sump pump, submersible pump. We used a five gallon bucket and we're using just off the shelf white vinegar. We used about two gallons, somewhere between two and three gallons to flush a water heater. So this pipe runs into the uh, inlet side. So from the, from the output on the sump pump to the inlet on the uh, unit, and then the output side, just all it's doing is just making a loop by coming back in there. So let's plug this thing in and let me show you what it does. So once that sump pump engages, all it's doing is just going to be flushing that, uh, that white vinegar through the system. The manufacturer recommends you do this for 45 minutes. And that white vinegar is going to remove all the scaling that's happening up here in this tankless water heater. Thanks for joining me. Give it a shot. I think you'll find that it's actually not too hard and it should really give a full life out of this tankless water heater.